Robert Travis Scott runs the Public Affairs Research Council, arguably the most respected government watchdog group in the state. A lot of this is a numbers game. Scott says higher education could be on the chopping block, but first, every other state agency gets a look. Before they start to cut higher ed, they're going to uh, look at the hiring freezes and the expenditure freezes. They're going to look at agency cuts. Uh, and the, uh, they're going to look at fund sweeps. They might even look at the rainy day fund to pull some money out of our rainy day fund. Still, with the exception of the rainy day fund, Governor Jindal has already resorted to all the other options. When you start doing hiring freezes after you've already done another hiring freeze, after you've done another hiring freeze, uh, and you've done another agency expenditure freeze, um, you know, how much have you already uh, gotten from that source of trying to save money? Scott says higher ed is likely to take some sort of a hit. I think higher education officials are already bracing for bad news. They just don't know how bad the bad news is going to be. Then there's health care, but much of that budget is protected. Jan Moeller is with the Louisiana Budget Project. There are fees for hospitals that you can't really cut. Nursing homes are protected. There's a large, it's very tough to cut the health care budget. And sometimes if you cut one part of it, it actually increases spending in another part. Moeller says no one knows for sure what will get cut, but the state needs to change the way it does business. We're sort of out of tricks. There aren't as many little gimmicks that you can use to keep the budget in balance. And that means it's really time to, to talk turkey. And that means either you have to make drastic, serious cuts to critical programs, or you have to raise enough money to pay for the basic expenses of state government.